What's up guys? It's me, Hunter I from Tom Vance. And you should notice, according to my Facebook page, I reached over almost 470 likes. Yeah, I've reached over like 465 likes now. So yeah, I've reached over that likes and everything. So today's subject, I'm doing something a little different. Instead of talking about venomous snakes, you know, all kind of stuff, today I'm going to talk about venomous lizards. So after this introduction, I mean after this clip right here, I'm going to get to the next clip where I narrate on venomous lizards. Hey guys, see you, on the, uh, see you on the next clip. There are only two types of venomous lizards. The two types are Heloderma and monitors. Yes, that's right, monitors are venomous because according to Brian Gray Fry research, the fact that all monitors are in fact venomous. However, monitors are not deadly, uh, deadly, but the Hildermas hel are deadly. In fact, only one is deadly, known as the beaded lizard, Heloderma uh, horridum, which are related to the least venomous lizard known as the Helo monster, Heloderma suspectum. Venomous lizards don't have fangs to inject venom. The only way for a venomous lizard to inject venom is to chew on a person to allow the neurotoxins to move through the grooves of their, t in their teeth and into an open wound. The biggest venomous lizard is considered to be the Komodo Dragon. According to Brian Greg Fry, he said that the Komodo Dragon doesn't use its bacteria to kill its prey. They actually use their venom. Some people thought it was their bacteria was deadly. However, their bacteria is not deadly. It actually it's their venom. It actually it's actually their venom that's deadly. Komodo dragons can get to 10 feet, and their species is considered be, to be vulnerable. Their scientific name is Bonaris komodoniensis, and Komodo dragons are in fact monitors.